Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome to my latest stories in a song video here on YouTube. Today I got a special song that uh, I wasn't originally planning on doing today, <clears throat> partly because I originally had to work today and then I got the day off. Today is Canada Day, <clears throat> but the garden center's closed so I'm here making a video for you. <clears throat> and uh, last time, <clears throat> or two videos ago, I... Uh, Got a message from my uh, state, my stepmom on on Facebook, saying or with a video <clears throat> of a song that she thought I should try. She thought I'd be good at it, so uh, <clears throat> this is the song I'm trying today. It's called "Where No One Stands Alone." <clears throat> the version that she sent me was by Merrill Haggard's son Ben Haggard, but the version I found on Carafun <clears throat> was by Elvis Presley. From 1967, a song written by Mosey Lister. So that's the song, that's the version I'm doing here today. Well, this is my second Elvis Presley song on my YouTube playlist, my karaoke songs. My first one was called "I Want You, I Need You, I Love You." Seems like forever ago I did that one. Must have been a couple years ago, anyway. But today's video is my 246th video on there overall. As far as personal connections and stories to go along with this song, <laughs> my history with it is about as short as it could be. <laughs> I had never heard this song before until one week ago today, when I saw a video sent to me by on Facebook by my stepmom of this song. I watched it, looked it up on Carafun, found Elvis' version of it, then found a YouTube video of it sung by Elvis. The YouTube video was taken from an album that I suddenly realized that I own. But had bought for another song called Somebody Bigger Than You and I, and I had never listened to Where No One Stands Alone before. The Carafun version and the CD version that I own matched perfectly, so within half an hour I had the song learned. I wrote back to my stepmom saying that I would sing it on a video, and now here I am today about to sing it. So I'll dedicate this video to my stepmom, Margaret Young, and my dad, John Young. I hope you enjoy this one. <clears throat> I should say before I go too far that I heard a lot of Elvis gospel songs in the house growing up because my mom played the tapes fairly often. <clears throat> I think this song reminds me of Take My Hand, Precious Lord, one of those Elvis gospel songs my mom had on a tape. I still have, I still have all of her music, so down the road I will make videos of a lot more songs like this. <clears throat> a little bit about the songwriter, Mosey Lister. Writer Lister is someone I first heard of on the TV show The Gaither Gospel Hour which my mom and I used to watch every Friday night after coming home from work, even though we had to work early the next morning. <clears throat> I always assumed that Mosey and Hovey Lister were brothers, but there was no relation. Hovey would often appear on the show, and songs written by Mosey would often be sung. Mosey was born Thomas Mosey Lister on September the 8th, 1921 in Cochrane, Georgia, which is in the central part of the state, about 38 miles southeast of Macon. He died on February 12, 2015, aged 93. He was a gospel singer and songwriter. He wrote seven songs that have been released by more than one artist, including Where No One Stands Alone, from I'm Bound for the Kingdom by Blue Ridge Quartet in August 1951, to Till the Storm Passes By by Couriers in 1972. The original recording of Where No One Stands Alone was done by the Statesman Quartet in 1955. Hovey Lister was the original pianist, MC, and group owner of the Statesman, and Mosey Lister was the original lead singer. By 1955, Mosey had retired from singing to focus on songwriting and had been replaced in the Statesman by Jake Hess, another singer who I saw many times on Gaither Gospel Hour. The Statesman Quartet's original recording was released on a 78 RPM single on their own Statesman Records label. Presley's cover version was recorded on May 25, 1966, at RCA Studio B in Nashville, produced by Felton Jarvis. Background vocals were provided by Presley's favorite gospel quartet, the Imperials, led by Jake Hess and the Jordan Ayers. Where No One Stands Alone was a number often sung by Hess. The song was recorded for Presley's eighth RCA Victor studio album, How Great Thou Art, released on February 27, 1967. And that is this album right here. <clears throat> which is actually a CD in my version, but uh, 
hey, <laughs> it's all the same songs. <laughs> Plus 30 bonus tracks, not not on the original album. So, <clears throat> back to the stuff here about this uh, recording. <clears throat> Let's see. Where No One Stands Alone was track six on side two and was never released as a single. The album cover featured the church and steeple of the First Church of Christ of Sandwich, Massachusetts. I don't know how well you can see that on this uh, <clears throat> CD, but there it is, the church on the cover. And a little bit about the musicians that played on this album. Many famous musicians and singers appeared on How Great They Were on the album. In addition to those already mentioned, <clears throat> these include Millie Kirkham, Dolores Edgen, and June Page on vocals, Boots Randolph and Rufus Long on saxophone, Scotty Moore and Chip Young on guitar, I like that last name, <laughs> Charlie McCoy on guitar, bass, and harmonica, Pete Drake on pedal steel guitar, Floyd Kramer on piano, David Briggs and Henry Slaughter on piano and organ, Bob Moore and Henry Strezelecki on double bass, DJ Fontana on drums and tambourine, and Buddy Harmon on drums and timpani. Now about the cover versions of this song. <clears throat> 52 other cover versions of Where No One Stands Alone have been released to date. 50 of those are in English. One is an instrumental and one is in Norwegian. The English covers include by American gospel and country music singer Jimmy Davis with American vocal harmony group the Anita Kerr Singers in January 1956 on their DECA single, Where No One Stands Alone, by American gospel group Blackwood Brothers Quartet in 1956 on their Blackwood Brothers Records EP, Sunday Meet and Time Songs, then in 1960 on their Skylight album, Sunday Meet and Time by American country singer and songwriter Don Gibson in December 1958 on his RCA Victor album, No One Stands Alone, by American vocal group The Jordanaires in March 1959 on their Capitol Records album, Glory Land, by American southern gospel group The Chuck Wagon Gang in December 1959 on their Columbia album, Prayers in Song, by American country trio The Browns featuring Jim Edward Brown, in August 1961, on their RCA Victor album, the Browns sang songs from the Little Brown Church hymnal. By American country music singer and songwriter Loretta Lynn on November 15, 1965, on her DECA album, Hymns. By American Southern Gospel Quartet, Cathedral Quartet, in 1966, on their Scripture Records album, Greatest Gospel Hits. By American country singer and songwriter Dottie West in July 1967 on her RCA Victor album, Dottie West Sings Sacred Ballads. And by American country singer Porter Wagner and the Blackwood Brothers Quartet in August 1967 on their RCA Victor album, More Grand Old Gospel. And there are also 40 more. <laughs> Just in case you uh, didn't hear one that you'd like to check out, there's 40 other ones that I don't have time to mention. <laughs> Elvis Presley. Well, a little bit about him. This is called a thumbnail sketch, I suppose. <laughs> he was born Elvis Aaron Presley on January the 8th, 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi, in the northeastern part of the state. He died on August 16th, 1977, aged 42, in Memphis, Tennessee. Or, if you believe some of those conspiracy theories, he's <laughs> living in the Amazon rainforest with Am Amelia Earhart and Adolf Hitler and a whole bunch of people. <laughs> No, he's, he's been dead for <laughs> many, many years now. <clears throat> His resting place is at Graceland in Memphis. He was also an actor on film and television. He was married only once to American businesswoman and actress Priscilla Beaulieu from 1967 to 1973 when they were divorced. They had one daughter, singer-songwriter Lisa Marie Presley, born on February the 1st, 1968, and died on January 12th, 2023, aged 54. She recorded a cover version of Where No One Stands Alone using samples from Elvis's 1966 recording with the Jordanaires and the Imperials Quartet, released on August the 10th, 2018. This was the version that came up on YouTube last night when I was preparing for this video. <clears throat> Elvis has some other famous relatives as well. Actress Riley Keough, born May 29th, 1989, so she's age 35. She is the daughter of Lisa Marie. Democratic politician Brandon Presley was a member of the Mississippi Public Service Commission from the Northern District for 16 years 
and mayor of Nettleton, Mississippi for six years. Brandon is Elvis's second cousin. And Elvis's first cousin, once removed, was Harold Ray Presley, who was the sheriff of Lee County, Mississippi, which includes Tupelo, for eight years. Elvis performed in the rock and roll, pop, rockabilly, country, gospel, R&B, and blues genres. He played guitar and piano. He was active in the music business from 1953 to 1977. His recordings have appeared on the Sun, HMV, and Allied Artists Music Group labels, in addition to RCA Victor. Elvis served in the U.S. Army from 1958 to 1960, achieving the rank of sergeant. His unit was Headquarters Company, 1st Medium Tank Battalion, 32nd Armor, 3rd Armored Division. He was awarded the Good Conduct Medal. And now, a little bit about his uh, recording history. <laughs> this is big. <laughs> 2,890 solo records plus 975 records with other artists for a total of 3,865 have been released on Elvis between 1954 and 2022. Just be glad I'm not going to name off all 3,865 of those. <laughs> His discography includes 24 studio albums, 8 live albums, 13 compilation albums, 29 EPs, 17 soundtrack albums, 30 box sets, 115 posthumous compilations, 11 remix albums, 117 singles, and 24 posthumous singles. 11 of his singles reached number one on the Billboard Country Charts, and 18 hit the top of the Billboard Pop Charts. And that's all I've got on Elvis for today. <laughs> I could go on forever about Elvis, but I won't. Now, <clears throat> we're going to sing Where No One Stands Alone. Here we go now. Another song off of this here list that I made I stuck right in there. Real tiny writing. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go now. <clears throat> a little drink before I start singing, because this is a hard one to do. Alrighty. Wish me luck. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> stands alone in the style of Elvis Presley written by Mosey Lister I gotta rewind this thing reload it so it will play right coming right up here here we go now here we go now it's ready to go I stood in the night with my head bowed low in the darkness as black as could be.
sure did enjoy singing that song. <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed that too. <clears throat> and guess what? I'll be back tomorrow for another song if my voice can recover <laughs> in time. But uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow singing another song. It is going to be a Waylon Jennings song. Surprise, surprise. That's the most songs I've got on my playlist. <clears throat> and uh, this song, <clears throat> if you didn't already guess, it's called Can't You See? <clears throat> A song that I had on my playlist already by Marshall Tucker Band, but uh, this is going to be Llewellyn's version, so I'll be back tomorrow for that one. So uh, if you like it, I hope you do, but uh, if you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> Have a good day now. Bye.